the silkworm begins its life snuggled in a tiny translucent egg. The hungry caterpillar nibbles its way out. It's raised on a farm where it can chomp and chomp and chomp. Here, they're feasting on ground up mulberry leaves. Each larva starts out smaller than a date on a penny. And in just a few weeks, it's as long as your finger. Now, this plump caterpillar can get to work on its next phase of life, making its cocoon. It secretes a liquid from a spinneret on its head. As soon as the solution touches the air, it becomes a pliable fiber. What we know as silk is a long, unbroken strand constructed primarily from two proteins. The inside is fibroin. It's the structural center. The outside is sericin, the glue binding it all together. The larva spins raw silk for two to three days straight. The end result is a single strand of silk up to 10 city blocks long. This tiny shelter maintains just the right humidity and temperature for the caterpillar to transform into a moth. Once the cushy casing is complete, farmers harvest the raw silk. 